Uh, on Grady's point, we are still getting a little bit of uh, the laggards, I suppose, coming through from reporting season. Meyer really pre-guided the market quite well. Today, though, the retailer has in fact reported an 18.2% leap in full year net profit, and that's despite economic headwinds and some really poor sentiment towards the retailers in general. $71 million is where the net profit has come in, in line, as I said, with that trading update last month. So total sales coming in at $3.36 billion, the highest since 2005. Shareholders will get a final dividend of one cent per share, fully franked, down from two and a half cents, to be paid on November 16th. Now, you know, the question always is about the outlook. Uh, Grady, you've gone through that result. What was Meyer saying about the outlook? Because that is all important. It is, and with retailers, they are spot on the money. They're very cautious, so it's not, uh, the results were good today, and uh, I think that, well, yeah, as what we're seeing here, um, retailers have been hit this year really hard. And I think it's been an, a bit of an oversell because a lot of the results that came out of the retailers were very surprising. Um, again, Maya was one of them today. Uh, they did say they're cautious on outlook, um, which is a big factor to take into account when you're investing in the retailers. Um, their results do suggest second half sales growth of only 0.4% was a real headwind that they're going to face moving forward. Um, I think the market had factored in today already what because they did pre-warn mm -hmm. the market of what was coming. Um, yeah, so the big point today their margins decreased as well 189 basis points and again investors very were very quick to punish any margin contraction in the reporting season whether it be with Maya I know ResMed got absolutely hammered for their margin contraction so not passing on the higher and rising costs um, cost of doing business came down so it was a really mixed result for mm -hmm. Maya today um, but again on the outlook front we want to see retailers who have some sort of certainty and Maya definitely didn't provide that today so I've gone with a hold because it is is it is a strong company and it has a proven track record over history in Australia. Um, it's a strong uh, defensive retailer in the long term. But yeah, at the moment, it's a hold rating just because they're cautious on outlook and that's not what we want to hear. Yeah, and they've done a lot of the hard work when it comes to store yeah. closures yes. and strategic reviews and rebranding, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, Josh, shares are down mm. by about six, or oh, sorry, 3.6%. <laughs> Let's not overdo it because, of course, it doesn't matter what's happened with these retailers. It's what's yeah. to come. Um, interesting to note that the CBA household spending report yesterday showed increased spending in mm. August, but it was because of the FIFA Women's World Cup, which I love, mm. uh, but also rising petrol prices and the return of international students. I was at the shopping center on Saturday and I noticed that Meyer, you know, they had 40% discounts in some of the... <laughs> Uh, in some of the you know the product lines so if you think about Meyer as a investment do you take a learn long-term view or is this just not a sector you want to be involved in right now um, well obviously it's a household name it, it's not going anywhere but I think they are getting caught up in this negative sentiment um, the uh, actual period was uh, lower than than the previous half um, by quite a fair bit. Um, so 1.9 they achieved last time, and that was the highs that it uh, reached for the year on the chart there. Um, and now down at 1.4 for the last six months. Um, interestingly enough, they do also have a couple of risks coming up with uh, their CEO John King set to depart the company um, in 2024. He's been pretty integral in their turnaround for the last five years. They haven't got a successor for him. He owns 4.3 million shares, so there's obviously a selling risk there. Um, just to take a, a slight different tactic with this one, um, obviously uh, Solomon Liu, uh, the head of uh, PMV, yeah. Premier Investments, he's been accumulating um, Maya. Um, and he's doing a bit of a shake up in his business as well, looking to sort of split off the Peter Alexander and Smiggle business too. Um, you know, it owns more than nearly 30% of Maya now. So I think that um, spin off could potentially unlock, unlock a lot of shareholder value. Obviously, that's the reason he's doing it. So I think in this case, you'd, you'd rather follow the uh, smart money here with the Solomon Lou. Obviously, he knows the sector quite well if you want exposure to that sector. Um, you know, follow his trades. And, and what he's looking to do is accumulate a portion of uh, Maya, but also he's looking to spin off his other high growth assets as well. So I think uh, actually picking up PMV uh, is a better way to play getting exposure to Maya um, from a risk 
point of view. Uh, you obviously got more diversification there to that one company. Um, but also, I think it does have more upside with that potential demergers. Yeah, got it. Okay, so you've already got a bonus buy there, <laughs> folks. Don't say I don't do anything for you. That is the stock of the day, Meyer. Bad day on market today, but a company that, uh, yeah, both of my guests say will likely be around for quite some time.